Hello all and welcome to this video walkthrough on how to input the transfer of capital for a partnership 1065 return using interview forms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to input the necessary entries to complete the transfer of capital using the K7 method as well as the K6 method. So let's go ahead and begin. As you can see, I already have a sample partnership return open. Let's say we're adding a new partner and are transferring interest and capital to this partner. We would first need to enter in the basic information on the K1, just the name, partner information. It's important to note that we'll leave the profit, the loss, and the capital percent boxes blank for this new partner. Once the partner is added, we will need to enter in the transfer of interest on the K6. So I'll go over to the K6. We'll need to enter in the date. For this uh, transfer, I'm going to make it 010114. We'll enter in the partner number, as well as the resulting percentage for the partners. Once this is completed, we'll now move over to the K7 to enter in the transfer of capital. So I'll open up the K7. We'll need to enter in the partner number again, similar to the K6, in box 50. So we'll put in the, the, the transferring partner number here. I'm going to put the date of transfer, the same date as the transfer of interest. Put in a T in box 52 for the transferring partner. And I'm going to put a percentage of their total that I'm, I want to transfer over to the new partner. So for this one, I'm going to put 50% or 0.5. Below that, we'll need to enter in the receiving partners. We'll need to put in the date. This is just going to match the date above them. In box 57, we'll put a code R for the receiving partner. And then we're going to put transfer partner number one. This is going to match the partner that we've listed as a T. And then in box 59, or if you have multiple, the totals of all the boxes must match or must equal 100%. So for this one, I've only got the one. I'm going to put one for 100%. Once all the transfers are entered, we can now calculate the return and verify on the Schedule K-1 amounts. As you can see on the, on the Schedule K-1, we can see all the amounts are now changed. The first partner, their income is less. And if we look at the new partner, their income is now showing as well as well as the percentages down below. That's the way we input it in using the K7. Now let's enter it in as if we're going to use just the K6. Let me delete out the K7, and then I'm going to go back over to the K6. On the K6, we've entered in the transfer of interest already. We put the date, we put some resulting percentages in our partners to indicate the transfer of capital as well. We just need to enter in a few extra boxes now. So in box 44, we need to put the code T to indicate that this is the transferring partner. And then how much we're going to transfer. And then down in box 53, we'll put in our code R, which is the receiving partner. The partner number that we're receiving it from. And then the percent that is allocated to this partner. So the inputs are going to look similar to the K7. It's just then put all in one place on the K6 now. So once we calculate the return again, we'll go back and look at the schedule K1. The income is still split out, and the percentages down below are still the same. That's going to wrap up how to enter in the transfer of capital in a 1065 partnership return. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.